Uh, all right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Real Talk video. I pray that everybody has had a blessed weekend as we give the Most High all the honor, the glory, and all the praise for this blessed day. My title says, The Love and Respect That I Have for Other People. The Love and Respect That I Have for Other People. You know, there are a lot of cold people in this life, heartless. They don't care about other people. All they care about is themselves. And a lot of times in this life, some people just want to hear the word thank you. A lot of times we go by so many times in this life without saying thank you. There are a lot of times when people take your kindness for weakness. They take your meekness for weakness. They take everything that you do uh, for them. They don't take it, you know, in the way that you think they'll take it. And the most people you do the things for, <clears throat> they seem like they tell you to kiss their rear end. But when you use that spiritual discernment, and when you have the fruit of the spirits, and when you line up your life in the way of the Most High Yahweh, you can't help but love. I didn't say it was going to be easy. The reason I want to do this video, I was just thinking about something as I came back from the store. One of my partners I ran into years ago. And we was at the store. Um, his car was probably two cars over from mine. <clears throat> Ain't seen each other in years. And he saw me did something that don't matter to a lot of people, which is when you get through shopping, go on and push the cart back over there and put the cart in the, um, you know, the, the slot where the carts go at, instead of throwing them all around and letting them roll and hit somebody else's car. And he say, man, you do stuff like that. I always just take my cart and just, hey man, let it roll or sit it over here. You know, sometimes you sit them carts on somebody's hill. I mean, on the hill, I mean, they'll roll and, you know, get somebody car up. Little stuff like that don't mean nothing to some people. But little stuff like that means a lot to me. He said, well, I just throw mine any kind of way, man, because, hell, they'll come pick it up. That's their job. And he said, why are you doing it anyway, man? Just leave it right there. You know, let it let it roll if it needs to. And I said, you know why? Because I used to be that car attender. I used to be that man that, that, that worked for that. Four dollars and something, that five dollars and something an hour. I used to be that man that used to have to go get all those carts when people just let them roll way out in the middle of the street or take them home. Or that was my job, and I said I would never look down on a cart attendant. Nowadays, they got the technology and the machines to just gather all of them up on one time and just push a button. It wasn't like that when I was working. My point is the respect to this day that I still have for the cart attendant. See, I ain't too uppity where I can't pick up some trash when I see it on the floor at church or if I'm in the store or wherever I'm at or somebody else's house. See, I don't have to have janitor across the top of my head to pick up things and throw it away because I used to, one time I used to be that janitor. I used to be that man that, that didn't make nothing that was cleaning up those restrooms. I was that man. I I know how it feels to 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 be the lowest paid on the pole and and people just look at you crazy and down you and step over you because they feel like you are nothing. But the respect and love that I have to this day, when I see trash, I pick it up. A lot of times when me and Didi go out to eat, you leaving too much tip money. That's too much. That man, take that back. Take cut that in half. No. Because I know what they're going through a lot of times. I ain't saying all waiters, but a lot of waiters, if they don't get no tips, they're not making no money. But the love and respect that I had, that tip that I left on the table, probably put some food in their children's mouth. See, when you get to the point where others do matter to you, oh, your whole life is different. When you when you have been where somebody is at now, you 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 tend to. To, to say, hey, brother or sister, I feel you. I used to be that one back there washing them dishes. I, I never forget how they done me back then. So that love that you have and those memories that you have would treat that person with kindness when other people are just saying, 
Oh, that, that ain't nothing but the dishwasher. That ain't nothing. See, when you ain't never been to your lowest, then you don't know what I'm talking about in this video. One of the first jobs I ever had was cleaning. And there are some people that are janitors that love what they do. See, everybody don't have the same job. There are some people that, that really love what they do while others will be like, I can't see how she do that. I don't see, I don't, I don't understand how he do that. And then they can simply turn around and say, I don't understand how you do what you do. Yeah, you got all the money, but you miserable at night. Mm. Yeah, you got all the money, but what's wrong with you? Why your wife is always over here? You sleeping around and holding around over there. Something must be wrong. You ain't happy you got that money, but that money cannot bring you joy like I got. Mm. Sometimes I look at this. The lowest people that, that they call the lowest in this life is the ones I love the most. Because those are the ones, when you see them, when you see them a few years later, they done been elevated up because they humble. They humble. I love to see humble people. I love it. But I just I can't even explain how much I love that when I see, though he may not have a job like you got, she may not have a job like you got, but she never complained about it. He never complained. He go to work and he doing it honestly. Yeah, you might be out there selling dope. And I mean, no way in hell I'm working no McDonald's. Man, they got me messed up. But that man and that lady that's working at McDonald's has is, is, got an honest living. One thing about them, they ain't got to look over their shoulder at night. You may be complaining about, they ain't going to do that and, and they're laughing at them because they flipping burgers and all that. But, hey, they ain't behind bars. It's a paycheck. See, a lot of people laugh at other people's jobs. I don't. I don't think that's funny. I never did, because I know. I, I know managers at McDonald's that you you think they making lower than you think they making. Oh no, they actually doing pretty good. And by them being a good steward and knowing how to manage, they have gotten that house <laughs> off of McDonald's. While you laughing at them, but you still at home with your mama selling dope. Let, let me leave that alone. But the love and respect that I have, I will never lose that. I will never lose that. But with JT, what you mean? But they, man, they ain't, they, they ain't doing nothing but mopping flows, man. They, man, come on, man. Ain't no way in the world I can mop no flows. I wouldn't be like that. I wouldn't be no piece of delivery boy. I wouldn't, man, ain't all this stuff they doing. I, you don't know what you're going to do. Until you find yourself being in that situation on what you're going to figure out and what you're going to do. I remember this one time, this man, um, I forgot his name. This man had a, man had a great job, man. He was, he was, he was, um, he was up there, man, making great money. He had a family. And that man, that job went down here. That man got laid off. And what I love about that man, he did whatever he had to do to save his friend. That man became a piece of delivery driver. You talking about coming from up here to coming way down there and he humbled himself. Himself, excuse me. And that same man, maybe a year later, got back on his feet and got back higher than he was before he fell down. He never gave up. He said, I will flip burgers. I mean, burgers. I will deliver pizza. I will do anything I got to do to provide for my family the right way. And he said, I'm not going to do something out here that's going to get me locked up behind doing something wrong. I love my family. See, Bible say man don't work, man don't eat. He didn't say a man that sell dope, he's not going to eat. Mm. Let, me, let me rephrase that. He didn't say sell dope and do wicked and you're going to eat. He said work the right way. Providing. You know, you should never do nothing to put your family in jeopardy. But hey, I'm from the streets. I know how I go. That's why most of my brothers are in the penitentiary are dead from the streets. Talking about that's the only way I knew how to survive. And then you still, didn't, you didn't even survive still. You're dead. And you left behind that son, that daughter, those children. That woman to raise those children by herself. See, when you, when you grow up without having much, then you will never really look down on the ones who are making the honest living. Maybe that's just how I look at that, you know. 
Because the most, I'm thinking about David now. The old King David started off as a shepherd boy. That little old shepherd boy was elevated into king because of the most high. Can you imagine that? Oh, he back there tending to the sheep. <laughs> he out there in the wilderness probably doing something and fought another bird or something. And out of all the sons that Jesse had, it was probably about seven of them, eight of them. They went through the whole line of, but then they say, what is it? Who is this one right here? That little shepherd boy right there. He's chosen. <laughs> he went from, from the sheep to the king position. See, some, some of us want that king position, and I'm closing. We want this and want that. We want to be brought on a higher level, but we don't even want to go through what's low first. We don't even want to follow before we learn to lead. That's why when you humble, the most high will elevate you in a way that they can't do nothing but hate on you. Say, man, wasn't it the same dude that worked at the car wash? Yeah, now he owned the car wash. Now he got car washes all over. He ain't even got to get out there and wash cars no more. He got people under him, and that's why he treat them so nice, because he once upon a time was the main one washing cars. <laughs> Woo! Out of here. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful, blessed day. Shalom.